Many of you may not know that Baseball Hall of Famer and legend Hank Aaron had a younger brother that was his teammate on the Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves baseball team for seven seasons. And who was this younger brother, you may ask? Tommy Aaron. And we're going to spotlight Tommy's life, career, and some great memorabilia on this episode of History and Relics. Tommy Lee Aaron was born in Mobile, Alabama on August 5, 1939, to proud parents Herbert and Estella Aaron. The Aaron family was not wealthy. Tommy and his six other siblings spent much of their childhood on a farm picking cotton. Tommy's childhood home was built by his father Herbert in 1942. It was originally a three-bedroom house but gradually expanded as the family grew. The home is now located at Hank Aaron Stadium in Mobile, Alabama, former home of the Mobile Bay Bears. It was moved here in 2008 and shortly afterwards opened as Hank Aaron's childhood home and museum. The house was dedicated as a historic house museum on April 14, 2010. The home features a glimpse of what it looked like during the early 1940s and 50s and exhibits memorabilia from Hank Aaron's breaking of Babe Ruth's all-time home run record in 1974. There is also a set of lockers for both Hank and Tommy, highlighting their playing days and accomplishments together when they were teammates. While the Bay Bears have since relocated, other local clubs continue to play here, and the home and museum remain open for viewing. Tommy was signed by the Milwaukee Braves on May 28, 1958, at the age of 18. He played primarily first base in left field. His Major League debut was on April 10, 1962, and he had eight of his 13 total career home runs in his rookie year. He played a total of seven Major League seasons for both the Milwaukee Braves, 1962 to 1963, and again in 1965, and for the Atlanta Braves, 1968 to 1971. The Richmond Virginians joined the International League in 1954 and was once a Yankees farm club. They moved to Toledo, Ohio, leaving Richmond with no team in 1965. But with the Milwaukee Braves moving to Atlanta, they moved the Atlanta Crackers to Virginia to become the Richmond Braves in 1966. Tommy earned the city's first most valuable player honors for Richmond, splitting time between first base and the outfield. After his playing days, he continued working for the Braves organization as both a minor league manager from 1973 to 1978 and a major league coach from 1979 to 1984. The Richmond Braves drew headlines in 1977 by making Tommy Aaron the International League's first African-American manager. A season later, Richmond and Aaron made headlines again, this time by winning the city's first International League pennant following a 24-year two-franchise wait. As a side note, the diamond where the Richmond Braves made their home was also named Tommy Aaron Field until 2010 when the San Francisco Giants affiliate, the Richmond Flying Squirrels, arrived. During spring training in 1982, via physical exams of Braves personnel, it was discovered that Tommy had leukemia. He reported the spring training, but left the team before the regular season to seek further treatment. He returned to the Braves infrequently and handled defensive positioning before he was replaced by Eddie Haas. Tommy died of leukemia at age 45 on August 16, 1984, 
at Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. He left behind his wife, Carolyn, who later died in 2015, and three children, Ephraim, Tommy Jr., and Valida. Tommy and his wife are buried in Catholic Cemetery in Mobile, Alabama. And now for some career highlights. Tommy and Hank each had a home run during the same inning in the same game on July 12, 1962. It happened in the ninth inning in a come-from-behind victory against the St. Louis Cardinals. This feat between brothers had not been seen since Lloyd and Paul Warner did it in 1932. Tommy and Hank were the first siblings to appear together in a league championship series as Braves teammates. Tommy hit his 13th and final career home run on July 20, 1970. However, together with brother Hank's record of 755, the pair together hold the major league record for the most career home runs between two brothers at 768. The DiMaggio brothers, Joe, Vince, and Dom, come in next at 573, and behind them are Eddie and Rich Murray with 508. Tommy also had two four-hit games, three doubles and a single versus the St. Louis Cardinals on May 25, 1962, and a home run, two doubles, and a single versus the Pittsburgh Pirates on April 26, 1970. Tommy finished his career with a lifetime batting average of 229, 216 hits, 13 home runs, 94 RBIs, and 102 runs scored in 437 games. Now before we wrap up today, we would like to show you some of Tommy Aaron's baseball memorabilia that we have, including this photo, his game used rookie era jersey, and some of his baseball bats. Here is Tommy's rookie era game used jersey from 1962 to 1965. This flannel displays the Braves name across the chest with his initial jersey number, 28, offset below, and you can see a portion of the Screamin' Brave patch on the left sleeve. The back of the jersey shows his number as well. And check out some of these Topps baseball cards that appears to show this same jersey, although it's not conclusive. Next up is one of two game-used Louisville Slugger bats we have of Tommy's. The first dates to 1965 to 1968 and is a model number M117. Interestingly, the uniform number written on the knob and bat end is number 19. Tommy wore number 19, but not until 1971. The bat has been authenticated by John Tobby of PSA DNA Authentication Services as a game used 9, which is outstanding. The second Louisville Slugger bat we have dates from 1973 to 1975, but does not show a model number on the knob. However, it does exhibit an expertly taped handle and was graded by PSA DNA as a grade 6 overall. Not bad. Special thanks goes out to Doug Powell for his support of our channel and showing us around the city of Mobile, including Hank Aaron Stadium and Tommy Aaron's final resting place. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed our program. If you like our content, we ask that you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It costs nothing but means a lot to us and keeps us growing. You may also leave us a tip if you choose. A link is provided here on your screen as well as in the description area below. And until next time, everyone, this one is history.